Hello, this is Omni Paper. Now this one's going to be a little different, but this one's going in a good direction. So this one is as the uh, side panel, and maybe if you've seen uh, the title and all that kind of stuff, you'll see uh, live writing. Now this is something I've been uh, thinking about doing for a long time. Uh, I believe I my earliest verbal documentation of this um, was during the uh, Zelda one. I think it was uh, the it was the late January one. So I believe that was levels one through three, where I was telling someone about how I want to start doing stuff like this. Of like, um, as you can kind of see over here. Under the sources, we have uh, live writing with you know, the side panel, have the quarter panel, just for fun, and then title. So with these three, they make up the overlay that I want to use for uh, doing uh, what you can see on the side here of like writing essays, writing uh, fiction, and uh, doing that alive in the sense of like I'm typing you're hearing me typing with the uh with the kind of like the idea that if if i could watch some of my favorite writers and how they write how they edit i think that'd be pretty cool now that doesn't mean that i'm anyone's favorite writer nor do i want really to be i guess like you know that that whole ego thing of like not wanting to force myself on others like but if i can inspire better writers than myself or maybe other other folks to do stuff like this maybe um, and all it really is is just getting the overlay set up getting used to recording like this and then typing so um, what I'm planning to do today is I'm planning to write a script of sorts uh, it will be 50% script 50% um, like uh, essay for for betterzombie.com. Uh, so let's uh, let me show you the streaming schedule. I'm recording this on the 22nd of November 2021. Uh, that will upload probably on the I think it's either the 24th or later on. Um, but uh, uh, what I'm planning to do, or what I was planning to do, was do Thanksgiving special and then Black Friday and Cyber Monday uh, conversation about uh, like materialism. And I'm looking at um, materialist objects all around me, but as far as being a writer, the focus should be on writing. So that's, that's like, uh, it's not to say that you, you can't enjoy things and you shouldn't have luxuries, but as far as like, if I have an extra hundred dollars, then that should be going toward either groceries to make sure that you know I'm well fed, I'm well nourished, I have good kind of uh, my body is taken care of, that sort of a thing. Uh, then from there, it should be uh, what can I do to continue the writing kind of stuff. So that could be anything from uh, making sure that rent is paid. Um, because, you know, you can't write if you got to worry about rent, um, tends not to work out too well. So, uh, you know, these sorts of things. Um, but if I were to say like, want to be a writer and then like buy a whole bunch of, uh, video games, uh, I like video games, uh, as I think everyone does to a certain capacity. Well, that's a little bit of waste. So I wanted to, I wanted to explore through those thoughts. And I wanted to kind of do, I was thinking of doing like a three-parter. So the the kind of conundrum here is that uh, on Thanksgiving, Eddie invited me along to do a, kind of like a hangout uh, recording in Earthbound. So we would be doing like, um, be like half Earthbound, half Thanksgiving. So we'll just do T giving, EB Eddie. Uh, or eddies and just do eb on that and then black friday this one would be with uh silverstorm so 
Um, don't really want to do the other acronyms. So we'll do 9653. And we'll do B Friday like this. So kind of our idea with that is that this would turn into, it would be like a uh, sort of like she, say she reads over the essay, she agrees with everything. Then I would go write, I would go recite it, and then we'd talk about it as we draw. Uh, I, I have an idea that the Thanksgiving special similar to the Halloween special would be I would draw a, a scene from a video game. The poll is currently in favor of Saturn Valley for Z Discord, and then Twitter is favoring the Returners' hideout in Final Fantasy VI. No votes for River Sea Ransom's Grotto Mall, so maybe I just do that to be contrarian. Um, but what I want to do is I'm thinking all three days I'll do. Originally, it was just going to be like Thanksgiving only art. And then Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I would do like only kind of like writer talk style stuff. But because Silverstorm wanted to get get jumped in and, you know, talk about consumerism as well, then it's kind of why I wanted to expand it out just a little bit. And so I might do the arts on Thursday before the Earthbound one. Uh, that one would be a shorter stream. I believe Eddie works after that. So we'd have to like, we would have short timing i rest between my broadcast and then his but it should be fine uh especially things might turn out pretty well for me on this day if not then uh you know we'll we'll see how it goes but um now the plan is to do a little bit of art all three days with the um like all the catch up on Cyber Monday. If I run out of things to say, then maybe I'd focus on cleaning out the art, finishing it, getting out the door kind of a thing. So that way people don't have to be pressured into being there on Thanksgiving when they might be with their family uh, or trying to buy stuff. But uh, I, I do want to kind of bring up the idea of how it's like, you shouldn't have to buy stuff to represent your, your friendship or your familial relationships. You shouldn't have to do all this kind of stuff. You shouldn't need to do that. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be as much of a, I think of it as really an addiction. I really think that, that how we operate when we, when we have material objects is more of an addiction than a need a necessity. Um, so when I write like this, this will be good kind of like to, uh, to talk about, talk through what I, what I do before I write. So the, the kind of the, the preparation ritual is a little different than I normally do, uh, because I'm using, uh, uh, this, uh, Google doc, not sponsored. Um, but, uh, um, it's, yeah, it's a little weird for me not having that, but I imagine what I'll what I'll do what I'll do is I'll uh, kind of just start writing. Um, after I kind of get into that, that prep zone, so when I talk about like writer's block, a lot of it is due to lack of of full preparation and that sort of a thing. So I don't why don't I walk you through how it's like to to design to public to, to show how like what I do to publish stuff uh, I did this in the first writer talk but this might actually be more of like the uh, the thing that instigates my kind of writer brain to start the writing process and I believe that's what people mean by like writer's block um, so let me first show uh, the let me check here okay so now then Nothing too wild here. Um, nothing wild there. So on my website, betterzombie.com, uh, we have uh, these writer writing talks, uh, like essays that I, I do. Uh, so with this one here, that was the one-year broadcasting. I wrote um, I wrote an essay 
pretty much uh, talking about uh, how it was like, all this kind of stuff. I wrote two essays. I read out both of them for that one year. And I liked that. I liked the idea. For one, it helps with the whole uh, writing ties in with broadcasting idea. For two, it also helps with uh, uh, getting content through the system. What I mean is that every day I write an essay. So every day um, for approaching three years, I believe, uh, if not four years, approaching, sorry for breathing in the mic like that, I believe it's approaching four years now. Um, let's see. 2021 minus four. I want to say approaching four years of writing every single day. The only day I did not write more than 500 words was the day I wrote. It was like a, a thousand plus words for a volunteer thing. And then uh, from there, I wrote a few hundred for myself. It's either 2017 or 2018. I want to look. Um, you won't get to see my lookings, though, dear, dear viewer, because uh, some of it is doxing information at the moment. Um, but I don't think you're going to be too terribly worried. Um, this is just one way I'm going to do it. I just take a look to see when, when I wrote what year I wrote this whole thing that I wrote. Um, so I believe it should still be up there. And it's not like terribly hidden. I imagine in a few years all this will be widely known and all that kind of stuff. But for the next like year or two, I need to have some degree of anonymity to uh, ensure that I can be employable. Um, so don't mind. Uh, let's see here. Scrolling back a while. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> so, yeah, looks like, okay, so that was 19. That was 19. Yeah, I believe it was 2019. So, if so, 2019 plus 3. Oops. Hmm. Oh, I see. So two years ago, it'd be coming up on three years. Yeah, so coming up on three years uh, was how long it took, or one was last, yeah, so, uh, so I started writing August of 2016. That was when I started writing, uh, kind of seriously writing. Um, but it took took until right around March of 2019 before I was like kind of hooked in on the 500 word thing. So yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So, uh, that I was thinking earlier just shows how much memory kind of fluctuates and all that kind of stuff. So we have that time. Um, so yesterday I was writing a essay about, how my recordings are helping me process things that would otherwise be difficult for me because I'm talking into a mic, I'm writing about what I'm talking about, all that kind of stuff. So then I wrote this note yesterday, live pre-recorded write script for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, medical stuff too. Um, the medical stuff I can go ahead and delete here was about basically I'll find out tomorrow if my medical stuff will happen uh, maybe by the time I publish this essay or if not um, in the nearer future so let's see here let me pop back over here so today's essay published for the 22nd so what I do is I just go in and, and fill that in and I kind of have a three-day uh, like padding of sorts for like oh yeah like I gotta do like fill in the, the weights for my, my stuff here. And then I have nearly a week of, uh, talking about like year end stuff. I like to do that as a sort of, uh, 
as a sort of uh, closure to to bring it out the old year and bring in the new year. So yeah, there's all that. Um, let me do this as well since I'm here, just so that way I can kind of uh, hide it. Okay. So then um, that's why the three day padding kind of arises so that way I can kind of get closer to like the first and be like, oh, I have to edit that. The QQQ's out. So I want to write a script about um, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. And what I'll do is I'll just have it under here. Um, so what I'll do here first is I have, I have assorted uh, drafts of like all the rowing stuff where I have the, the Q marks. Then I have some projects like Zelda 1, Katana 0. I want to get those cleared out eventually. Uh, this one I just got to put aside the time. This one I got to get the new computer sorted. Um, so I have these templates here. These templates I've designed. Uh, last design like last year. So I may go in at some point in late December clean all these up maybe as a recording. Uh, I don't know. And then I have some other ones down here is like kind of old er stuff that I want to just kind of like, I want to kind of get, get, uh, get, probably get these three out, uh, and published, uh, as like drafts or whatever. And then these ones right here would be like the, the main templates I'll be using. Uh, so I have, uh, I have a few different kind of things rolling. Primarily, I've been working with uh, tripping on the American healthcare system, this template. Uh, I've been working with the media meandry template. And then I, what I used to do is I used to just, you know, make the template. And then uh, for the rowing machine ones, I had the template. And I just clone it and then edit the next one. So I didn't really have a specific uh, template. I might do that to kind of clear out these older templates to kind of like refresh them, but I don't know. Uh, not really too, I'm not really too super worried about it. So the long reason why I explained all of that is that I would probably want to do, let's do this off screen just in case. Yeah, so that's not too bad. I'll just scroll down here just momentarily. So this is all the code that I've developed over the years. It's not really too big of a deal, but like see here, um, if this draft started two years ago, then I update it maybe once a year or whatever, then once every few months or now over a year. Um, the idea would be to kind of have a standardized style, which I'll show over here. And so what I do is I have 75 words is the introduction paragraph um, that renders as 95 because here at the end table, I have 20 words that represents all of the kind of stuff that I might use. If I cite a source or if I cite a quote, if I have any kind of sources, these two I can, I can honestly just kind of like put together, but that's a project for a different day. Uh, anything I'm inspired by related pictures or like if I used a photo for the last few months, it's been pretty much just uh, the uh, the thumbnail for the videos and all that kind of stuff. Uh, when I wrote and edited it. So what I used to do for, for one reason or another, uh, I used to write in Google Doc. And so you can you can kind of look at some of those essays that I wrote in Google Doc, and I put a link there. So I do the same thing. I'd like put put a link over here. I'd say written on, and then kind of kind of over there. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to clone this one because it's it's like I don't want to do a whole lot with this new one. The way I kind of operate is if I have a new idea. I don't want to like suddenly make a whole category for it. For the new idea, I gotta to wait to see if it floats. So that's what this is. This is me uh, seeing if it'll float with the live uh, writing. 
I do want to do more of those, but they're also like, how do I want to incorporate that? So I want to kind of start, start small. And then as I go, you know, then I'll go back and I'll kind of, uh, figure out the details. So, uh, what I do with these slugs now, if you don't know what a slug is in terms of, uh, WordPress newspaper stuff, uh, a slug is a easy way to refer to the uh, the article in like shorthand. So instead of like, you know, what what uh, what article was it? I just go look up this code here and go right to it. So you'll see the slug as a URL, and so that's kind of where you go in. Like this is the slug, the wt. I right here I'll click on that. This is the slug. And that's the, or the folder, I guess you might say too. And this is the domain. Um, but the slug there, I pretty much had the standard of many years ago, right at the start, I was like, you know, I want to make it small. So I have a 12 letter limit typically after the dash with the two, maybe three letters to denote what category. And it's worked out pretty well for me. I'm happy enough with it. I don't need to go back and change it all. So, you know, we'll just roll with it. So what I want to do is I want to put in the dates. The next date, let's see. So what happened on the 9th there? I got to check here first. So I'll do a save. This is going to be a little bit of off screen stuff just because uh, I, it looks like, okay. So express the stress. I wrote this, uh, this essay yesterday. Uh, this one, I, I think I want 13 on this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Just because I was like, ah, I want to I wanna have fun with it. The idea of having 12 and under is just because I don't want to, like, dip too much outside of that. But I'll give myself kind of, like, leeway sometimes. So I, I wrote the essay published January 9 of 2022. But I didn't update over here. So that's where I got to go in. And I got to fix that. So that's what I'm doing over here. Uh, first, I'm kind of copying over the, I have a, I have a kind of system here where it's like uh, dark green, light green. And then this is uh, light green, same color. But uh, that way I can kind of refer to like, what did I write that day? And so then I can kind of fill it in like that. If I delete it, it's not terrible, but you know, the more information I have, the, the easier it is. So this one, I would probably condense down. So I might condense that after I'm all done. So that way it's not super big there. I'd probably just say like right, live right. So let's do uh, live right. Yeah. So now I delete the rest of this. And that works out pretty well for me. Uh, so the way that this is working and has worked for a while now, uh, I guess I'll leave two like that, is that today I'll write this. I'll write the essay for the next few days. Um, going back over to the uh, broadcasting uh, spreadsheet here. Uh, okay, cool. So this is where it might be useful to show both at the same time. Yeah, this will work. Okay, so you got you got it. Okay, so uh, top of the screen is the writing calendar. Bottom of the screen is the broadcasting or recording calendar. Uh, the recording calendar is much more public. So I don't, like on a day like today... Um, the 22nd here. I did not do a online broadcast because uh, uh, I was uh, basically busy yesterday and today I was looking about healthcare stuff. I was looking forward to find out details uh, in the Z Discord. I posted about some updates um, that I might bring up tomorrow, but they're not really related to gender and religion. So I just brought it up to my co-host Bella Beluga that uh, I may receive a call tomorrow by 3 p.m. Uh, indicating 
one of two routes and if so then I'm stepping away from the mic for like up to five minutes and Bella is cool with it that so kind of the thing I want to do is I want to I want to kind of have these kind of lined up better so if I'm going on that trip that that is implied here then that would be the focus of the day it'd be uh, let me let me fill in some details here so the story I just put in the as a shorthand. So the would be trip. If no trip. So okay, so I'll I'll kinda walk through my thoughts on this just because it's it's a good way to kinda get me prepped through the week to then start writing. So I know like if you want to just see me write, I guess skip to when you start seeing me write, but uh you know I kinda have to get my thoughts in order. Uh, this is when, like I say, like when, when people talk about, uh, I need to hydrate. So when people talk about how they don't want to be, or when they're they're not inspired, they're 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 subjected, they're subjugated by the writer's block. I understand what that means, but it's also kind of like it's a lie that that writers tell to both the writer as the writing as the person that is writing and to others to say like ah oh, i i'm not i'm not inspired uh, i can't it's more like you need to get your ass in gear you need to kind of shut up and just start working so something like that is is really honestly for me where i i figure out what my hurdles and roadblocks are if i if i have a writer's block like uh you might be noticing i'm kind of working through my writer's block right now well i'm not complaining about it i'm doing something about it so that's where uh today we'll be doing this <clears throat> as the live right we'll be talking about what i'll be talking about over the next th three major broadcasts outside of the gender and, and religion one uh that one uh, pretty much I wrote a little bit of notes on, um, Bella will be speaking a lot more, uh, about, um, here experiences. So I'll be just, uh, you know, kind of like back and forth, but mainly I will be learning a little bit more than like on a podcast, like kind of like with, uh, how we did the eclipse podcast where I learned a lot about astrology stuff. So, I think that's going to be really productive and interesting, but uh, uh, it's also going to be like uh, kind of its own thing. But as far as the Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I wanted to like lump that all together to talk about how, you know, the, the topic at hand about consumerism over this, this particular weekend is where people buy a lot of stuff for their family. And it's like, you know... As cool as it is to get something fancy, um, what's even nicer is to have something that that helps me along, or otherwise is like uh, releasing a burden. If you buy me, uh, like, say, a new TV, I already have a TV. What do I need a second one for? Um, if you buy me, I don't know, like. Uh, whatever may be it and like this is where it's difficult because it's not like i want to i'm not grateful i it just it's one of those uh the gift should match the purpose and should match the understanding of the person so it's like if people want to give me gifts it should be like what kind of stuff will help me write better help me write faster help me write with more uh, a, a easier time in that not like here's Here's something I'm buying for you to take care of. <laughs> that sort of a thing. 
So that's that's the focus of like this essay will provide me fruit for the next three those three broadcasts here the Thanksgiving Black Friday Cyber Monday as I would write as I would draw and then uh, Silver Storm would join me on Friday to bring up her perspective as well <clears throat> and let me get some more water one more hydration. All right, cool. Uh, so the reason why I want to focus on those is because the way we've been kind of doing it with uh, with Eddie um, is that we have Earthbound with Eddie on Saturdays. I'll write about what I've thought about it. Um, Eddie brought up the idea today about doing a kind of... We're halfway through the game right now. Uh, we're halfway through Earthbound. And Eddie just wants to kind of kick it, relax, and check out check out the towns and all that. Nothing really too gameplay heavy, which I think is going to be a really cool one. So that's like a good way to like hang out with folks that maybe maybe had family over and kind of just like watching, kind of having fun. Um, so that's that's something that I may bring up on on Saturday's essay. Um, maybe not. I don't know. But uh, yeah. So the reason why I talk about all of this and kind of figure out my planning is because when when it comes to let's do freeze pain on this on row one. Okay. So when we talk about the. Friday matches up with Black Friday, Saturday with Saturday. So this one is going to be... I was trying to figure out how to get the story in. The story is an essay series I write every week. Um, it gets a little tricky because I would need to... Oh, I, I see what I did wrong here. So I need to do this. There we go. So usually I write about the story on Fridays to publish on Saturdays, but um, it kind of got tricky here with doing stuff on Friday. So that's uh, right. Like generally when I figure this stuff out, then that would be Black Friday. And I actually would do B Friday, T Giving, Jen and R. So then what I'll do here is I'll just kind of cut all that. I'll put it in another spot off screen that you don't see. So that way I can kind of just clear that out and make that easier to read. Uh, so that works out pretty well. Uh, so we have EB. Like that. Uh, this one on the, so this correlates with uh, the, the 28th of November. This one is going to be like an art, maybe something else, maybe like what we talked about relating to art. Uh, that's a that's a booked uh, recording offline, uh, Cyber Monday. So these all these three kind of tie together. So it might be, you know, it might be fair to kind of like give them all like labels or whatever, and then. This one would be like the podcast coming up uh, on the uh, on the thirtieth. Uh, the way we have it, Bob and myself, we every every Tuesday we do a recording podcast style kind of recording uh, of like us two talking. We've had other plans with more guests and whatnot, but uh, then you can see down here at the bottom other plans I have and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I got to update this as well. Uh, so uh, the pie chart kind of shows those colors. The blue is more of like the online stuff of like geography, music, uh, purples in real life stuff. So if, if example here, uh, we'll go back over to better rights 
and then better record here. So if I go on Wednesday, if I go out on a trip, I'm going to record uh, plans I talked about um, uh, in, a, in a previous broadcast, the Olympia one, Olympic Nirvana Geography, I think is the name of it. Uh, I'll be talking about, uh, like I'll do like a recording nearby on site kind of a thing to kind of like talk through my thoughts it might not be too long of a recording it might only be like 30 minutes or whatever um i don't know how long my phone would last um but i want to give that a go i want to see how that works and yeah i feel like that's a that'd be a cool one for like the purple side of things uh, right now i've been using that for like special but i might as well change that right now uh, to blue. Let's give that a blue. And the reason why is because, like I say, I want to have... I'm, I'm kind of future-proofing this to a certain extent. Because I only have the one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight colors. The reason why... Like, I can dip into any color here. Like, I could I could go with any color, especially any color I want here on a custom, but I want to have like kind of the main colors here and then a gray and black kind of work is like opposing. So like I can't go back to yesterday to change anything. Same with here today. Let's go ahead and do this. This one is live, right? So then over here on the archives, everything's all filled in there. Um, I could change the colors here, but I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll do that for one to see. Uh, I change it up so now podcasts are podcasts are red, art is orange. And let's see. yeah, art is orange. So this actually looks pretty cool. So let's uh, let's do this. And when I do two days, then I'll do two colors. So that way we kind of get that all kind of kind of cool looking. Um, we're gonna do arts or writing under the the lime green uh, that I like. Um, this was uh, more arts. One shot was a video game. Uh, OBS. So this would technically be under. I have it under black and white, or black and uh, gray. But that would technically be under blue. So I might want to color these differently. Uh, so that way, like you see here, like that. Um, I'll uh, I'll do that later, but I'll put put that in as like a dark blue. Uh, so that way, oops, uh, not that one. What what's going on? What is happening? And all that kind of fun stuff. There we go. Copy this over to technical training. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because this way I don't have to do a whole lot with it. Um, let's do game development as a long, long-term project idea. As is that, and then I'm gonna do one of these because I have to also add in uh, writing. Actually, let's do this right here. So writing, live writing. So like we do. I, I do like edits, audiobook reading, so audio. Uh, let's change this to literature reading, uh, talking, radio talk podcasts, book club conversations, live writing. Uh, when I talk about the story, Minecraft, and this one here. So I just got to figure out a different color for that. We'll change the color, just winging it at the moment. So like that. So uh, let's see over here. So this one we talked about being blue. 
the reason it's blue is because that way the purple can be in person. Like if, if I need to go take that drive out, then in person would be uh, purple. And with the healthcare, that one's filed under podcasts. So we'll just go with the base colors. We'll make it easy. Uh, video game. And then geography arts. That one, I think I filed under... Okay, blue. Blue for geography stuff. So computer stuff is blue. In-person stuff is purple. Uh, Death of the Author was a green arts. The fitness sign, I forget exactly. It was... Uh, Hmm. See, this is where it's interesting. Even like I recorded this, uh, hey, like a week ago. What I do, what I do, almost a week ago. I forget. Um, so we'll we'll kind of come back to that maybe. Um, so then medical, meandry, and then arts. That one is cyan, and then the art was the orange. See, I nearly forgot. Eclipse was red. And then medical geography. That one's the one I did uh, two days ago. Yeah. So this was just like a, a rest day for recording. I just kind of did a quick essay. So this one, I might even just copy it over right now and put that there. And then uh, when I don't do anything... Then I'll just put it in gray. Easy. Um, so as far as this one, art and fitness. I forget the fitness side of it. So I'll just go red. And I like this. I like how this is looking. I feel like that's a good fit. And it ties into with the, uh, the pie chart stuff. So we'll change the color of this. See how that looks. I got a better idea. Change the color to dark. Change these to light green. And yeah, that'll work out just fine. Cool, cool. And the reason why I did all of that is the way my mind works is I have to just, I have to clear out the distractions. I have to like get anything that's kind of like gonna like get in my way, get that all cleared out. So we've done all that. So now I'm in the mental zone to say to myself, okay, I gotta write this essay, right? So uh, we got Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. And so this is the thing that I say with writer's block is that a lot of people feel like they have writer's block, but in actuality, all they have is really just this, the person kind of has this need to clear out all the junk. So that's what, what I did there as I cleared out the junk and the more of it I clear out, the easier it will be for me to get to this point. Um, let's see, cancel this one. This was the wrong one. So we go to January 10 of 2022. 11 a.m. just happened to be the arbitrary date that worked best for me. And I don't want to do any tags yet. Um, could do live right. Because that's one way I can kind of denote, like if I'm, uh, tags are super easy uh, to create in WordPress. Uh, I'm doing this off screen because I don't want to show uh, all of my, all of my kind of details, but this is fine. So I have uh, 3000 plus tags. Uh, some of them, as you see, uh, there's nothing tied to them. The ones with the most amount of tags is 775 different essays um, so I wrote a lot about sobriety uh, quite a lot about sobriety materialism clutter you know now that I'm thinking about it now that I'm thinking about it here so I know we just went through all of this but I have the I have this whole series about downsizing so why don't I just do that one? So cloning, uh, we'll do a clone of that, and we'll just kind of do do a quick little bit here. 
back and forth. So this would be downsizing. So the way I'm doing this is I'm doing like downsizing. So I have uh, I have three routes uh, or three different. Let me let me complete my thinking here before I explain it. See, this would probably be the point when uh, I would be just commenting over what you're seeing live kind of a thing. Uh, but So we have a little bit of a delay here, so don't mind it. So uh, I have three essay series that talk about the process of, of moving, all that kind of stuff. And let's go over here to see. Uh, so you have downsizing zeal. You have selling zeal which we're not doing any selling on this one and then moving zeal is up here so what is zeal zeal is the uh my office basically that's the name i came up with zeal as the sort of uh complete office space that i would want to reside in long term uh what what that looks like now is that um I want to have a space wherein I have this recording, basically studio, where I can record ideally at any time, 3 a.m. on a Sunday, uh, 11 p.m. on a Tuesday, doesn't matter, kind of a thing. Um, my voice isn't too terribly loud, but at the same time, if I, if I do any kind of laughing, if I do any kind of like jokes, I don't want to. I don't want to disturb any neighbors or anything like that. So ideally, I would have a space where I could do that. Uh, maybe enough for a guest or guests to join me. Uh, that would be pretty cool. That'd be kind of like a, a neat thing to do, um, but it's not necessary. Um, and. Uh, that you know you kind of just you kind of just think through what you're doing kind of think through like you know what do i want out of life and that's where like i said like the gift giving process should be about what you want what you think the person really wants or needs uh for me i don't need a whole lot of stuff i don't need a whole lot of like trinkets and doodads but anything that can help me with the the act of writing is is probably the thing that I want the most. So what I'll do here is I'm just doing a little bit of uh, mental decluttering, okay? And okay, that because uh, I want to kind of like get get kind of more situated here, which is kind of the thing that helps me with my writing is figuring out what kind of stuff I need to focus on next. So uh, all of that is all tidied up. Because honestly what I do is I don't really write on this screen too often. Like you're watching my, you're watching my, uh, my left monitor, although it's showing up in your right. Uh, I don't write here too often, either in WordPress or uh, I'll, I'll leave that open. Or in Sh Google Sheets over here. I don't really write on that panel too often. So it's kind of tricky. Um, so I just got to kind of like practice that a little bit more. And so I think it's going to take just a little bit of time here. Um, and because it's like I'm merely at that point where I'm focused enough to start writing. But here's the thing. So I showed you that, that kind of bit where I do the 75 words. I do kind of like, uh, I like to call it verse, verse, chorus, verse writing. So I have a paragraph and then a sentence that kind of summarizes or otherwise uh, instigates the next paragraph. Then I do back and forth until I get to a thousand words. And that works out pretty well for me. Um, so here we talked about the, just briefly talked about the zeal side of, of all of this. So uh, in my last place, I wrote about the moving process of moving out of what I thought was going to be my zeal and coming to terms with all of that. Um, 
So then I, I wrote about moving and then I wrote about downsizing and then I wrote about selling a little bit. Um, now I'll be moving again, but it'll be a little bit different this time for um, these three colors, these three kind of systems uh, of, of operation. Uh, so I'll be doing a lot more downsizing, which is the mental clutter which is the materialism and all that kind of stuff. The selling is the physical act of like bringing a box of CDs in, uh, getting an assessment on their value, and then saying, yeah, I'll take it, or uh, you know, you're know, you giving me $2 for this whole box of CDs that it's worth more than $2. Uh, why are you being mean to me? Uh, let me cry a little bit, and then throw these CDs at your face kind of a thing. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I mean. Some people, they make me really feel like shit when I bring in stuff to sell. It's like, you don't have to be rude. You just have to tell me that you don't want it. Uh, so when I get enough stuff sold and downsized, downsizing would typically be more of like uh, recycling. Like I have, I have cardboard I was going to use for projects earlier this year. Uh, uh, talking about like, Things related to like things I no longer, projects I no longer want to in, invest in, hobbies that I stopped caring about, especially after I became disabled. And then the moving process will be uh, its own headache because uh, I'll be needing to move somewhere uh, cheaper and uh, more accessible. So that's where I'll be doing more of these. I don't know if I'll be doing them on a weekly basis like I used to because it it seems to make sense that I would have that. However, it's also like I can't make a lot of progress until my health is good. So I think what I'll do is I'll just do Wednesdays like I used to do for rowing. Then I'll just do ZD, uh, ZM. So the slug format I have for categories is ZD is downsizing zeal, ZM is moving zeal, and then ZS is selling zeal. So we'll do that. So that way I have the note there um, because I'll need to do all that soon. So if I, if I put it on the calendar, it's more likely that I'll get it done, uh, especially now that I, I have a plan for moving out and all that kind of stuff. Um, if it's not, if it's not this day that I do the trip, if it's later, then I have to figure out other options. So why don't I just kind of do something like this? So that way I kind of like get it, mix it up a little bit, right? So let's see, yeah, like that. I think it'll be good. Okay. So with all of that being said, what I like to do is when I write, as I like to think of like, you know, everyone talks about like the opening sentence, like you got to write with a bang. So what does really that mean? What does that mean really? Um, what that really means to me is like you figure out something to like kind of get the audience interested um, I do that with the opening paragraph here of 75 words with the image uh, and with the opening sentence. And so a lot of that is like bringing up the, the main topics there and talking about what, what I want to talk about. So like if I could change one thing about customer behavior, consumerist holiday season behavior, what would that be? I think it would be, it'd be something like this. Like I ask a question like that and then an idea comes to mind. So what I normally do as well is I put in the date or the time on when I start. So 6.55 PM uh, is why I'm starting here. So I would say this, I'll start with like a, my, my main argument. Uh, and I know that, uh, so this is uh, written after the holiday season, or will publish after the holiday season, but uh, I'll make a note of that. Um, 
and you know fuck it i'll just i'll write in uh rather than here i'll write where i'm more comfortable so i just gotta gotta kind of move these around just slightly so um okay oh this is chrome yeah okay so i don't think i'll be using this at all so let me no i'll be using this later so that's okay i'll be writing over in wordpress but i'll be which one is this this is this is opera off screen this is in in chrome yeah so i'll do this it's more comfortable for me here so uh, what I wanted to do is uh, I had an opening sentence in mind, um, but it slipped out of mind. So we're still t we're still going. 655 is when I started all of this. If I get distracted, I get distracted. Uh, uh, we're two minutes in already. Uh, so do I re? I will actually. Uh, I'll do a note there. So false start. And then from here, I'll do 650. Because so I have to kind of like, because I'm talking and writing, I have to kind of get it back into that kind of thinking zone, um, the writing zone. And then from there, it's just going to be easy. So what I want to say is I want to say that when you give gifts, it shouldn't be out of material value. It should be more of the personable value that, you know, if you know the person well, then you want to get the person something that will be helpful for the person. So I think I want to start like this and we're going to start at 58 after PM to, um, I believe that the, the, that uh, gift giving is too materialistic. Um, I think rather than focusing on the gift receivers interests or what will help that person or help the most the gift giver might instead rather get a high priced item to give as a sort of catch-all for me receiving expensive gifts equates to needing to take care of an object rather than something that let me get some water here something that will help me write better writing better is the is my primary focus uh, I also do need to remember new other things. So, but I also, but I do need to remember to do other things. So the problem with this paragraph, though, is that it's, uh, it, it doesn't really have... Like, it's there, but it's not really instigating you to read any further. Just like, okay, cool, that's fine. You have an opinion. So, I would actually edit this down a bit more. Say, uh, I think this is fine. I think gift-giving is too materialistic rather than focusing on, on someone's interests. Or... Or what will help the person the most, or 
the person the most. High priced items that go on sale at the end of the year fit as catch-alls. Um, expensive gifts can be like uh, responsibilities if if the gift doesn't help me write better then it's just a nice then it's a nice gesture but more of an obligation um true gift giving Mm. So this is kind of like I say, like the, the tricky part about writing um, and talking without listening to music. I kind of uh, kind of like get into a good zone, but practicing like this is going to be a good way for me to, to get get good at this or get better at this. Um, so I don't mind too much, but it's, it's one of those things where especially with the uh, my tailbone flaring up at the moment and me writing at a different time of the day really I, I usually write closer to 11 but I couldn't do like a recording at 11 so yeah um, it's it's a little tricky plus you know what is my what is my true intention here um, so that's not even really a good starting point if I really want to kind of get into my intention um so my true intention with all of this is uh I don't think think the holiday seasons should be when you consider buying gifts for others. I don't I'm going to go with seasons because not just, uh, I don't think the holiday specials should be when you consider buying gifts for others. Uh, I believe, starting to believe that the holiday season is getting too materialistic. Too, too materialistic. Rather than focusing on, uh, rather than gifting based on someone's interests or what will help the person the most, high-priced items that that go on sale. That was really a typo. At the end of the year, uh, go on sale. usually fit as generic catch-all gifts. If a gift doesn't help me write better, um, it can be nice, but it might be more of an obligation. That sounds incredibly cruel, though. Um, so I have to make sure that I don't, uh, I lighten it up a bit. So I don't think the holiday specials, I don't think the holiday, uh, sales, I don't think that holiday sales should be when you consider buying gifts for others. I'm starting to believe that the holiday season, the holidays, I wonder if it's, Forget if it's poor like that. The holidays are getting too materialistic. Rather than gifting based on someone's interest or what you think will help the person the most, high-priced items 
uh, people usually gift high priced items that were on sale as generic catch all gifts. Something like that feels good. Um, yeah, so rather than gifting based on someone's interests, so like good gifts would be like helping, like for me, like help me figure out how to write better uh, or what might be helpful for me. Um, high priced items, high priced items that were on sale serve as generic catch-all gifts meaningless so you can give like a, an expensive item like I want to give you this this thing because I think about you and I think that you would it, it has some meaning but if it just like ah, I want you I want to buy a PS5 or not sponsored or like Xbox whatever not sponsored because uh I think that uh, you would enjoy being like in with everyone else. It's like, eh, like I would not have a, a purpose or a need for a PS5. It would be a waste of, of the gifting purchasing money. So that's where like I want to kind of like kind of say that if you don't know the person too well, I would almost say don't give them a gift. Um,. If you don't know the person too well, you shouldn't feel obligated to gift. Uh, let's go back to see what it was. Yeah, it'd be more of an obligation. So if you don't know the person too well, you shouldn't feel obligated to gift. That, that materialistic attitude is too prevalent I can talk about like it being like an obligation later um, so I don't think that holiday sale should be when you consider buying gifts for others um, I don't think that holiday sales should be when you holiday sale should be when you consider buying gifts for others I'm starting to believe that, yeah, I'm starting to believe that, um, when, so one of the things I dislike about writing advice is that it's like cut out very, cut out words that we all use, but it's one, one of like, oh yeah, you want it to be as slick as possible. Grammarly here, uh, not sponsored, is uh, terrible about this. If it were up to Grammarly, then 10% of language would be eliminated. You would not, they would not let you use very at all. Very would be a, a, an extinct, eradicated word. So uh, I don't like them too much. Uh, gifting me a Grammarly subscription, for example, would be a bad investment because it'd be like ah, I have to deal with this shit more often uh, I use Grammarly sure um, but it annoys the shit out of me a lot and if you go through some of my essays using Grammarly I actually have uh, many many typos uh, I guess we'll go over um, <laughs> I, I should be writing um, but uh, you know we'll do the thing so this was an essay that I'll be publishing here soon. Um, let's see. Okay, so eight, eight or nine uh, mistakes here. It just took a while for it to load. So stuff like comma usage and whatnot. Um, stuff, some of it is my way of going about it. Some ways not parasocially, kind of making up words and whatnot. Uh, it, it's like, I can't, I can't change it to fit my way. I have to go with Grammarly, Grammarly's way, which is like, not how, not how I think it should be. So that's where I, I don't like, I don't like the program, but I use it. Uh, so having a premium version would just be a, super annoying. Um, 
but uh, that's my digression. Uh, so I don't think that the holiday, I don't think that holiday sale should be when you consider buying gifts for others. I'm starting to believe that the holidays are getting too materialistic rather than gifting based on someone's interests or what you think would, will help the person the most high priced items that were on sale serve as meaningless generic catch all gifts. If you don't know the person too well, you shouldn't feel obligated to gift a materialistic, um, uh, the yeah I think something like that's fair consumerist materialistic behave attitude is too prevalent I think that's fine uh, sometimes I just kind of say to myself you know it's good enough let's keep on going um, gifts shouldn't be obligations when I've thought about the gifts uh, posture change when I think about the gifts I've given or received over the years with the least and most value not in terms of financial value but value to the person the idea would be uh, now I'm thinking too much about typing and reciting out um, the least amount of value uh, what comes to mind I think that the gifts I value the least were the ones that don't of a place other than than as objects to maintain rather than use. So if I were gifted a new I say so in my own verbiage but I don't I don't write with so. I thought that was interesting that I added that in. If I were gifted a new uh, video game console, I wouldn't have anything. I couldn't interact with it much. I don't have a TV that. Um, the TV from my previous residence is still in still shrink wrapped and will remain shrink wrapped remain that way until I move again where maybe I'll I'll use it again And will be, oh, uh, will be the same. Will remain that way. So, so, like stuff like that is useful, but it gets annoying sometimes. Um, I I probably wouldn't easily be able to broadcast from it. So, what? would I do with it other than use it as a purely recreational device? I already have plenty of recreational activities. So something that big, that something that big, expensive, and Uh, and unproductive would not be useful for me and I bring up these examples because as this example not out of um, 
to show the nuance of gift giving. I don't want to receive gifts, but sometimes they happen, and when they do, sometimes feels more obligation to receive them, even if the gift giver is thinking about how I might benefit from having the gift. So that's where generally I prefer no gifts in or out. Um, for me, I don't want I don't want to receive gifts. Sometimes they happen. Yeah, I like that. When they do the gift sometimes feels more like an obligation to receive, even if the gift giver is thinking about how I might benefit. No gifts in or out. Um, yeah. Um, partially that's because I want to honor the gift and meandering. Meander is one word that I, I kind of add in as my kind of like way to, to it's like, you know, a watermark kind of word. Um, something that not many people use. I use it um, as a way to, to keep things like Oh, you know, it's a zombie paper thing. Sometimes. Um, so partially, that's because I want to honor the gift. I want to schedule time to meander through the, say, video game or book I receive. Uh, let's go book first or video game I receive as a gift but if I don't have that time scheduled then the book the object remains on my bookshelf or a digital library until I figure out how to incorporate into my day. See, like, I don't want to say a time. I want to schedule time. And, and I can dismiss it, but then it comes back later. Like, stop it. <laughs> uh, So, if I don't have the time scheduled, this almost acts more like a burden for me to think about wanting to interact with this gift. Rather than its intended purpose to relay a pleasurable interaction with the, yeah, really a pleasurable interaction. Um, especially as I am considering how I will be moving out of my current Residence and how many of my physical possessions I will want to sell 
or donate. Uh, adding more things can be tricky. But even after the move, I'll need to keep a strict materialistic perspective so I don't, uh, I guess minimalistic, minimalistic perspective so I don't get too distracted from my writing goals. The problem with that writing goals is that it leads to insular thinking. Programs like Grammarly, I'm not going to put in a link to Grammarly, um, have a subscription model, so that might be a, a gift, except I often find myself butting heads against Grammarly. That's the spell checker for its algorithmic. See a word like that? I forget if I can spell correctly. Algorithm. I think that's how it's spelled. Hertz algorithm. Let's see. Sometimes at the end of the sentence, it'll, it'll pick it up. I'll look it up off screen. Uh, so I don't rely on the... Grammarly probably is figuring out that I'm not too fond of it. So um, while that's loading... Yeah, it's got to reload. Um, against this algorithmic reduction of certain aspects of English language. Grammarly hates the word very uh, so very much. Let's see if it catches it. Algorithmic is spelled correctly. So I can't rely on its free version or premium and substant significantly I imagine the premium version will be full of unnecessary uh, unnecessary uh, arguments yeah I guess that would be a good way to phrase it I have most outside of that I have most all of the writing tools I need WordPress I pay um, paying for WordPress paying for web hosting for my WordPress website um, the physical my laptop and keyboard and peripherals are in good order and pay for web hosting for I can probably get rid of this I have all the writing tools I need I paid up on my website for years in advance. My are in good order, even if they're not fancy. Uh, and I have a bitter resistance against, yeah, I know that, against any of fancy keyboards and doodads that might seem to appear to help me write, but actually would 
actually but would actually just serve as as distractions I would need to fiddle around more with the keyboard to get it working right the keys I would get distracted by the LED colors and fancy keyboards whereas my current one is a generic office keyboard that I've beaten up years and feels all right to me. I've paid up on web hosting for my website for years in advance. So I, and then you honestly don't know that, whatever. So that all being said, I do need to So I didn't really talk about insular thinking though. Um, so I need to posture check. My tailbone's hurting. Mm. Yeah, it's hurting a lot. Mm. <sighs> and that's about as much as I can do. So the problem with that writing goals is that So I need to rewrite this one. This sentence doesn't really work too well. Sometimes I just leave them in. Um, but if I'm writing something that will be kind of more of like I write it, I read it, recite it, kind of a thing that I need to be a little bit more on top of it. So I'll need to keep a strict materialistic perspective so I don't get too distracted from my writing goals. Um, there aren't really many writing tools that that could help I could benefit from either so overall I'd rather not deal with the gift being obligations I feel like more people feel this way than just myself feel like majority of do like big gifts that's why why there are so many Black Friday and now Cyber Monday specials people like big shiny um, but I, I do sometimes like big shiny, but I also like, I also don't like big shiny too much, too often. And that's kind of the thing that I'm starting to learn about myself is that for many years, That's the thing I've been starting to learn about myself is that for many years I've been guided by Big Shiny, by materialistic pursuits. Recently I was planning out a healthcare venture into a new city far enough away to where I could safely where I could get there one hour so sometimes I don't like I like to put like one hour um, so then I'll figure out how to reward it just to save a save a word um, of my word count so recently I was playing out a healthcare adventure into new city comma 
far enough away to where I could get there, far enough away to where getting there with a one hour buffer is reasonable. So if I got there with one hour to burn, what would I do? In years past, I would go thrifting. I'd go look for music shops. Anything that might satiate my materialistic interests. And insidiously enough, I would innocently enough. See, this is something too that I, I like to do. It can get kind of weird. So, insidiously is like uh, with with bad intentions. Uh, we'll go look this up on. Uh, we'll go to good old fashioned uh, at me online to show what uh, what that all is. I uh, just gotta gotta wait for it to all load. So insidious versus innocent, having these similar words clash them together. Um, so we'll go into at me online. And then even something like this can break my flow a little bit. Equivalent to, uh, honestly enough, like a, a song having a stupid part in it can, can interrupt my flow. So insidious. Sid. You us. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted, but uh, thank you for trying. Sid. So I wanted to click on this one, but instead I want it somewhere else. So deceitful, cunning, artful, treacherous. From occupy. In sit. To sit. Figuratively used with suggestion of lying in weight entrapment. So innocent. Do no evil. So in. So not. We have we have not. Okay, so this is from So it's not the same uh, prefix, in and in. It doesn't look like it's the same. So this is not harm. So in nascent, nascent is harm, in nascent is, uh, so not innocent is what, what is it? Uh, yeah, we don't say innocent, we say innocent. So not innocent. Funny, funny that. Um, interesting, interesting sorts of thinkings. So uh, we do those sorts of thinkings as meandries through which uh, we observe these so sorts of things. Um, I might even do a little bit of like further challenging by actually putting those two two words together but I'm not really sure on that I really have to like debate that for a minute so while while I'm doing that debate let's see uh, just a quick second here so the debate over using both of those words is something I'll think on right now um let's see why did that not close okay thank you so anything that might satiate my materialistic interests and so this would be like kind of insidiously enough, I would instantly enough figure that if I purchased an item I could write about, then why not buy it? Yeah, something like that. Because if I put in insidiously, innocently, insidiously, then that'd be too much. The problem is, 
is that the ownership of the object is under uh, I wanted to say like under false pretenses, but instead it would be uh, I should instead of focus on now what I want to do. Now my focus is on uh, exploring reality and figuring out how cool things to port on. So in that for that new city adventure, I looked at historical landmarks that were relevant to me, found something, and then guided my way, then explored my way through that landmarks relevancy. If I go there, cool. If not, cool. Um, going there would be cooler than going to a, going thrifting for me now, cause I might walk through, might get a book, um, uh, whatever, and then uh, forget about it, then out it or put it on my shelf of books that I like to read in the next five years, maybe. Uh, I do read, but digitally, PDFs now, so physical books don't mean so much to me. Why would I go thrifting unless to anthropologically investigate? And so something like this too, like anthro... I forgot the word, so thanks for the catch there. It's a love-hate relationship I have uh, I, I love it, but I hate it. Uh, unless to invest anthropologically investigate this new city. Let's see. New. So I want a new get to new to me. Does the thrift store have a lot of many esoteric high quality items or or exoteric items yeah I can put a dash in there that's fine Exoteric items that low quality items that I could find elsewhere for cheaper. According to these thrifting ventures might be the only thing I would want to do for thrifting in the future and since I for healthcare then walking around around much wouldn't be option wouldn't be appealing all of this is to say that I think holiday sales are overrated. Buy what you think someone will enjoy, what will help. So I have that list up at the top there. Let's go ahead and copy that over big, expensive, and unproductive. So 
what I usually do is I kind of refer to that there. So buy what you think someone will enjoy, what will, but I'll do it in the same order. Buy what you think will, buy something, buy a gift so that will be big. And here's where I will capture these other drafts. So we'll go like that. Buy gifts that will be big. That will be big helps to people you're gifting. To expensive, not in price, but in value. And what will help? Oh, and what will? And what will make the person more productive, either vocationally or avocationally? So then, I have six words to conclude my thoughts. Buy gifts that will help be big helps that buy gifts to, to help the the person the people you're gifting buy gifts that will help the people yeah i i get you there buy gifts that will help the people you're gifting that are expensive, which are expensive, not in price. I'm doing control and the arrow keys, if you're wondering what I'm doing here. Uh, buy gifts that will help the people who are gifting, which which should be, be expensive, in, not in price, but in value. Should be expensive in value rather than a price. I closed out at at me online too early here. I should have I should have left it open so that way I could uh, okay at least I opened up the wrong the right one. Uh, so at me online wait for it to load it's gonna crash and then reopen it and then kind of do one of those wait for it kind of a thing. So let's see. My computer's dragging a little bit, so we'll try to free that up just a little bit. Okay, so we got um, expensive. Expensive, given to profuse expenditure. Expense if, meaning costly requiring profuse expenditure. Expense full, expense, active spending or giving away. So I believe it should be better than the, um, which should be expensive in covering, because I want to kind of play into that a little bit. And I also need to wrap up soon here. Um, buy gifts that will help the people are giving, which would be expensive in value rather than price and and will make the person more productive. Otherwise you're wasting time and money on otherwise you're wasting money giving gifts to big corporations money something like that I need to go use the restroom so I will actually uh, return in a bit. So uh, I didn't want to do this, but I got to. So I'll be right back. 
Hello, this is an intermission. For this, I figure this will be a good time for you to take a break as well as for me. So what I'm doing here is I've recorded this in, in uh, I don't know, a while ago. And the idea would be, then I just uh, I figure this is a good time. Um, if you need to go uh, step away for a few minutes, then uh, certainly you can. Um, what I intend to do with these, with this one in particular, is that I have uh, I have this set to a different scene in OBS, and so what that means is that there's a section here where uh, I want to have an on-screen display of when I will be returning, and so. It's a tricky kind of an idea, but I figure what I would do is for something like this, um, so we're at about, of five minutes, we're about uh, one minute in already. Uh, so if I use this, it would be with the intention of actually getting up, walking around, and doing all of that. Uh, most people, they play music, and it's more of a spontaneous thing of, when they return kind of a thing. For something like this, I don't know, it, it feels like maybe a five minute break um, would be a good thing to do. And to have it so that way there's something to listen to, that you're not just uh, listening to silence because then you might, um, if I'm speaking frankly, people might get bored or you may forget that you're you're watching those sorts of things. Whereas if you hear this, and I'll probably update this message every, I don't know, every once in a while, but uh, the idea would be this should be enough time for me to do most activities. Um, and it's tricky too because, you know, say I need to take care of something longer than, you know, it may, it may be longer than that, uh, that five minutes. Um, in which case, I don't know what I do. Maybe have a have a, a second one for uh, longer, and then have no no sort of uh, timer on it. You know, these are things that, like I say, that I'll record this, I'll redo these. You know, maybe maybe once a month, once whenever I kind of feel the need to to update this. Um, but yeah, this is kind of your opportunity as well to, uh, you know, you might have gotten some water by now, maybe stand up, maybe stretch your, your neck, maybe, uh, you know, work on your posture, um, make sure that there are no pressure points that are, are pushing up against any part of your body, make sure that your, uh, your feet are your feet, your legs are in a good position where they're not hurting you. Uh, if you, like I said, if you would have needed to get some water, uh, this would have been a good time. Uh, I forgot to mention that until just now, so maybe about a minute or so. And basically this idea is just to make sure that you have, you have that sort of relaxation time as well. Uh, I know that with live streams it can... I don't know. I feel like sometimes you get in the 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 uh, the zest of the moment. You you kind of get, uh, or I get anyways, a little bit kind of like, you know, it's fun and all that kind of stuff. But then this is a time where we can kind of just maybe maybe close your eyes for a second, and this is going to be a time where, you know, I can say that uh, you can close your eyes for a little bit and just kind of let your eyes rest, let the cones and the whatever in your eyes I uh, just kind of reset back because you know you're looking at a bright screen and you're sitting in a probably a you know a, a location where there's not a whole lot of natural stuff going on so you know if you're here you know that's uh, something that that if you feel so inclined you can uh, turn off the you can step away from the broadcast, you can uh, go outside, you can go hang out, and it's all good. So we're just about at that five minute point, and so let's go ahead. 
Hey, I'm back, and uh, I I saved, and then I went back. Uh, <laughs> I took I took my biographical break, as as uh, one might say, in terms of like a, like a Rickyism from uh, Trailer Park Boys. So like kind of like a joke, um, but I when I stepped away like that, um, I thought about like the editing process in the future, especially if uh, if these get to a point where these videos are actually somewhat uh, substantial and financially viable. Um, if I could, uh, you know, say like a Ford editors, one editor or maybe a few uh, to be like, you know, here's uh, here's this video. Here's uh, a video like this. Go ahead and edit the audio and cut out the break that sort of a thing, make it all flow, make it all smooth. Um, that's an idea, but as far as actuality, I don't know. Because I do like being the one-person operation. I do like the idea of, like, I do, I upload it in the, in the conditions in, um, because uh, it's, it's what I've been doing here, so... Um, I did not note when I got back. So let's just say 6 p.m. until uh, like one minute ago here. So 7.52 p.m. is when we'll do the outro bit for it. So it took, took me roughly one hour to write, uh, which is double the amount of time I normally write for these. But... Um, I wrote with more of a quality perspective rather than I can bang out some some uh, 1,000 word essay in like 20 minutes if I want. Um, but this is me like doing the oration, thinking about what I want to say, realizing that I'm going to be reciting it to a larger audience. So I want to make sure that this is like buttoned up and neat. So we'll do another read. And then I figure with that second draft... And then I just do all the kind of like, as soon as I do like publish and all that, then it'll be all good to go. So um, what we do here over here is there's the QQQ marks here for uh, want to do something. So want to consider a good gift to give someone. Well, you'll find it here. But do you really want to know? Know that truth that you probably. Yeah, that's fine. Put in the slug over here. We have a few QQQs. Uh, we have a flare up in my tailbone. That's nice. Uh, that wasn't terrible, but uh, it was still uh, uh, more than I expected and wanted. So. That was uh, interesting. Um, we'll do picture. This is a little bit of the inception style of, of how we'll be doing this. So let's do this. Um, I think, I think that that's okay to show. So let me pay Parian. Uh, you didn't really need to see all that, um, but uh, not to worry. Um, if I see someone trying to break in now, then I'll know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I'll just censor it. I get one censor per, per recording, so I'll do that. 152. Censor. So what I'll do here is I'll uh, I'll read through once more, then we'll go schedule, and then that will be it. That will be the the draft that I'll send along to see if Silverstorm if if overall Silverstorm agrees with this enough for me to read it, then that'll be like our focus for our conversation. If she disagrees, then that can be something that she disagrees but wants to talk about it then that could be a good discussion if not then we'll keep it more casual maybe 
because the thing I was thinking of here before I even do the round two edit is, you know, that, that kind of sentiment is cool and all, but I don't really feel it all that much. So what we'll try to do is we'll try to get in some other words. We'll try to edit out some other words there to see if I can add in two, three words. So that's where I'll do like something like this to see if I can get some wiggle room to change the sentence up a little bit. So three words will, will be good. Um, but I have to make sure not to cut them out of the intro 75 words. Um, but we'll we'll see how it goes. So I don't think that holiday sales should be when you consider buying gifts for others. I'm starting to believe that the holidays are getting too materialistic. Rather than gifting based on someone's interests or what you think that or what you think will help the person or what you think the person will enjoy the most person will enjoy the most high priced items that were on sale serve as meaningless generic catch all gifts if you don't know the person too well you shouldn't feel obligated to gift consumerist materialistic behavior is too prevalent i think that's fine Gifts shouldn't be obligations. When I've thought about the gifts I've given or received over the years. Yeah, I think that's fine. With the least and most value, not in terms of financial. Not financial. Yeah, value to the person. The gifts I value, because I think twice there, the gifts I value the least were the ones that don't have a place other than as objects to maintain rather than use. If I were gifted a new video game console, I couldn't interact with it much. The TV from my previous residence is still shrink-wrapped and will remain that way until I move again, where maybe I'll use it again. I probably won't easily be able to broadcast from from this hypothetical new this hypothetical console. I probably couldn't easily broadcast from this hypothetical console. So, what would I do with it other than use it as a purely recreational device? I already have plenty of recreational devices. Something that big, expensive, and unproductive would not be useful for me. See, we've already cut out five words out of here, so the inclination is like, you know, oh, you want to you wanna cut out more stuff, but... See, this paragraph here is rather small, so we might see how we go. Uh, I'm especially doing, like, editing proper. This is kind of a, a good, interesting lesson in, in how I would do that. Uh, write it, then edit it. So, good stuff. Um, I bring up myself as this example. I'm using myself as an example to to show my nuances, show some of the nuances of, thank you. I don't want to receive gifts, but sometimes they happen. When they do the gift sometimes, so I think I think when I say like for me, I, it's the, the filler words that we use instead of pausing, thinking, then speaking. I don't want to receive gifts, but sometimes they happen. When they do, the gift sometimes feels more like an obligation to receive, even if the gift giver is thinking about how I might benefit from having the gift. That's where generally I prefer, that's why generally I prefer no gifts. 
in or out. Partially that's because I want to honor the gift. I want to schedule time to meander through the, say, book or video game I receive. But if I don't have that, but if I... So this is this is kind of insidious, right? This is kind of like a, a tricky phrasing because uh, we all have time, just the time scheduling, which is why I do like the scheduling for the broadcasts and the writing and all that kind of stuff. But so that's where if I don't currently have plans to read books or play video games. to read new to if I don't if I don't have if I don't plan to read or play new video games then the object remains on my bookshelf or digital library if I don't plan to read if I don't if I don't figure out a plan to read or play the new video game, see how that quickly these numbers fluctuate up and down. Uh, and I like this phrasing more. If I don't figure out a plan, if I no plan. For reading or playing anything new, then the object remains on my physical or digital collection until I plan for that meander till I schedule that meander that cut out a lot almost 10, 10 words there so if I have no plan if I don't have a plan for reading or playing anything new then the object remains my physical or digital collection until I schedule Schedule the time for that meander. This almost acts more like a burden for me to think about wanting to interact with this gift rather than its intended purpose to inspire pleasure, to inspire excitement or pleasure. Especially now, as I'm considering how I will be moving out. Especially now that I'm seriously considering how to move out of my current residence and how many of my physical possessions I'll either sell or donate. Adding more things can be tricky. Even after the move, I'll need to keep a stricter materialistic perspective so I don't get too distracted from my rain goals. Yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, there aren't many writing tools that I could benefit from either. Programs like Grammarly have a subscription model, so that might be a gift, right? I often find myself butting heads against the spell checker. And I love hate way for its algorithmic reduction of certain aspects of the English language. Grammarly hates the word very. 
so very much. So I can't fully rely on its free version significantly. I imagine the premium version will um, pre premium version is all is. I also like to see how often do I use the word also. Um, I like to do once, maybe twice per essay, um, typically toward the end. Uh, I imagine the premium version is full of unnecessary arguments. Otherwise, I have all the writing tools I need. I've paid up on web hosting for my website for years in advance. I've paid for my websites at posting. I've paid for I've paid years in advance. I've paid for years. I've paid So I want to write about how it's been paid for years in advance, or that's the wrong way to write. Uh, my website is paid in full for years in advance. My website is paid for, is paid in full for the next few years. My laptop and peripherals are in good order even if they're not fancy. How often do I use dashes? So I don't like to overuse the dash like this, the M dash kind of a thing. Um, I have a fan I have a bit of resistance against any fancy keyboards that or other fancy mechanical gaudy keyboards or other fancy doodads that might appear to help me write better, but would actually just serve as distractions. I would need to fill around. I would need to argue more with the keyboard to get it working right for me. I would get distracted by the LED colors and fancy keyboards. My current one is a generic keyboard. Yeah, I think Office, leaving that is fine. They've been up for years and still feels right to me. And still feels right to me. Adding in some words like that kind of gives a little bit of... Uh, the original rhythm of the first draft now has a little bit of like difference for the second draft. Um, Overall, I'd rather not deal with the gift with gift giving obligations whatsoever. I feel like more people feel this way than just myself. I feel like a majority of people while I feel like a majority of people do like give big gifts, that's why there's so many Black Friday and now Cyber Monday specials. Um, I don't feel like I'm alone because people like big shiny objects. I don't feel like I'm alone here. I sometimes like fancy things, but uh, we'll, we'll leave it. I sometimes like big shiny, but 
I also don't like Big Shiny too often, but I don't. That's the thing I've been. That's the thing I've been learning. That's the thing. Um. That's what I've been learning most about myself. Um, I've only just, I've only just realized this about myself. For many years, I, I was guided by materialistic pursuits. I've only just realized that for, for most of my life, I was seduced by materialistic pursuits. Recently, I was recently planning, I don't like to add in commas, like start of the sentence, word, comma, rest of the sentence. So I was recently planning out a healthcare adventure into a new for me city, far enough away to where I were getting there, far enough away to where Getting there on time might require a a reasonable a reasonable one hour buffer. A modest see this is kinda of like telling you how bad the traffic can get. A modest one hour buffer. So uh cut up the sentence down a little bit. If I got if I arrive with one hour to burn, what would I do? In previous years, up until recently, I would go thrifting. I'd go look around for materialistic shops. Anything that might satiate materialist my materialistic interests. And insidiously enough I would instantly enough figure out I would instantly enough figure I would honest I would uh, so this sentence does break down a little bit as I rewrite it so anything that might satiate my materialistic interests and insidiously enough I would innocently enough consider um, a purchased item worthwhile, worth buying, if I could write about it. There we go. Anything that might satiate my materialistic interests, I'd go, I'd go look for materialistic objects for anything that might satiate my materialistic interests. And and this is where like I just said before I don't like to use that too often, but for more than one word this is fine. Insidiously enough, I would innocently enough consider a purchased item I would consider purchasing items worthwhile if I could write about about the item later. Only I didn't only the object would sit dot 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 now my focus is on exploring reality and figure out cool things to report on for that new city adventure i looked at historical landmarks that were relevant to me that were interesting for me found something then web, eh, it's like web, like I want to, yeah, then digitally explored my way through that landmark's relevancy. If I go there, cool. If not, cool. I went, going there would be cooler than going thrifting for me. 
So this is where I might go ahead and quote the article that I talk about this. Uh, I believe it was this one. So let's go ahead and pop in a, a gander because then I can just copy the URL and go from there. So yeah, this cites the uh, URL of the YouTube video. So we'll go that, we'll go down that route. So I was recently planning out a healthcare adventure into a new city, paste in like that. Good, good, good. And we have four extra words on top of these words. So we're making good progress here. So we'll do something like that. Um. So what else? For that new city adventure, I looked at historical landmarks that were interesting for me, found something, then digitally explored my way through that landmark's relevancy. If I go there, cool. If not, cool. Going there in person would be cooler. I would enjoy going there in person more than going thrifting now. Sure, I could get a book or whatever. Then quickly forget about it or put it on my sh shelf of books that I'd like to read in the next five years. Maybe. I do read uh, there's an alarm, car alarm going off. I do read, but... Dang it. I do read, but digitally. More digitally now. So physical books don't mean much to me. Why would I go thrifting unless to anthropologically investigate a new city, a new location. Does the thrift store have any esoteric to answer questions? Answer questions like, does the thrift store have many so listening to music as well prevents me from getting distracted by stuff like that. Whereas otherwise I get easily distracted by stuff like that. Um, to answer questions like, why would I go thrifting unless to anthropologically investigate a new location, to ask questions about, you know, that part about esoteric, exoteric would be fun, but to, but it's it's not really super relevant. Um, so let's cut it. Um, recording these future thrifting. Recording videos exploring new thrift stores. Exploring thrift stores might be the only thing I would want to do. Okay, so recording thrifty adventure videos. Because this is actually a category I can uh, cite. And what I'll do here is I'll go to the dot com. I'll wait for it to load. Do a posture check while it's loading. Good old website. Come on. Come on, computer. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, there you go. There you go. Categories and thrifting. I'd be normally more polite with my computer, but this computer knows what's up. This computer just kind of, the browsers act up a lot. So these would be examples of like ideas I was getting uh, where I'd be like, if I'm if I'm looking at a thrift store, like here I went to a thrift store and found this Asian Kung Fu Generation CD. Uh, this was me donating some old shirts. But I wanted to I wanted to take photos of them before I did, because that way I was ready to go with them. 
Um, that was briefly when I was feeling uh, well enough to bring. Yeah, that's been, uh, it was like, I was doing okay and then it just kind of dropped. So, uh, I went, this was when I was able to go to thrift stores. I guess it was like thrift store, but then pushing the cart was like my walker kind of a thing. So like I took some photos, but if I would have like taken some videos, maybe not in, like I would take photos here. Uh, a photo is decent enough, but me talking would be kind of like, hey, it wouldn't be too cool. And then here, like, like see, uh, we haven't, uh, I haven't really written too much of these in a while. And so I did like travel log trivialities. Uh, a while ago so it was kind of cool to see like remember stuff like this of like i wanted to write about like going to no location talking about travel log that sort of a thing um but yeah whatever and plus now you saw it again there too so uh there's no need for me to censor that bit before uh don't break my website i will uh, i will see your your ip address of how you tried to connect in and you don't even know the login uh, URL, so haha, haha! I've I've successfully uh, countered any attempt on that regard. So let's see. I was talking about thrifting adventures, uh, so recording thrifting adventure videos, exploring, yeah, uh, recording thrifting adventure videos. Uh, where I'd explore thrift stores might be the only thing I would want to do thrift wise in the future. I can cut a, this part out because, uh, like, a, it, it does make a good point about you know what else I would, what, why else would I want to go there. Um, but it's not really super relevant. So all of this to say that I think holiday sales are overrated. Why gifts that, see, this is the point where I need to use the restroom. I was like kind of focused on that. So buy gifts that will help the people you're gifting. If the item is cheap or expensive, what is more important is that the gift is helps the person um, more than just acts as a, as a neat trophy piece. Okay, so that's two words. Um, especially if the better yet give something that helps the person become more self-actualized either vocation or avocationally otherwise doing is just wasting your money to to seem like you care. I think something like that is still as harsh. Um, better yet, give something or at least have some fun. Otherwise, all you're doing is just letting the car alarm go off Otherwise, all you're doing is spending money for the sake of it. I feel like that's pretty good. But I need two more words here. So um, I say buy gifts that will help people are gifting. The item, 
The item is cheap or expensive. What is more important? The item is cheap or expensive. The more important thing is that the gift helps the person more than just acting as a neat trophy piece. Better yet, give something Now the now the dog is barking because of the uh, the alarm going off, so that's nice. I'll probably go off another minute. So twenty twenty one, November twenty second, and so I'm gonna copy over the first draft, but I'm gonna cut it, put it in here, and say second draft, and then what I'll do over here is I'll copy this over and put this over here do one of these first draft uh second draft notated in vod uh picture thumbnail uh, personal experiences, my personal writing an essay to talk about, to say, writing an essay um, for my focal points of my Thanksgiving. Black Friday and Cyber Monday broadcasts. These three days act as a holiday for buying many high ticket, high priced items. Uh, and I don't leave much in all of this so I wanted to write about this to get my voice out there in a way that could maybe help people buy more meaningful gifts there we go dun 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 and I wrote that starting at like 657 6.55, yeah, 6.58, somewhere around there. It is now 8.29. Um, so all I do now is I go in and I uh, I copied over to my WordPress backup. I'll go ahead and do all of this offline, so that way I can just kind of not have to deal with it in the future here. So actually what I need to do um, I can't do it until I stop recording. So, as you can see here, this thumbnail here, um, I'll leave it. I'll leave it, um, template because, template because the thumbnail would be too tricky to add in as a droste effect. Open that up in new tab. So that way we get a little bit of that kind of like reason for hanging out. You can see here the uh, front page of Wikipedia as of today. Draw stay effect. And paste that over into here. That spelled correctly. Done. So draw stay effect. Um, Let's do this false start at cool so I have a few other things to do which is as such I need to upload the VOD uh, edit description put URL of this VOD in this essay and 
close this. So I've done my recording for today. Live right. You know, now that I'm doing it like this, I can uh, I can just go ahead and start coloring as such. Uh, this was uh, green. Yeah, so we'll just kind of go back and forth once or twice. Because then I can just kind of begin this process, make that kind of feel more like substantial, if you will. So podcast tomorrow. I uh, don't know about Wednesday if... Uh, If I don't go on Wednesday, I don't know when this is going to be recorded, um, probably after Wednesday, um, I'll do something else, but if I if I go for a drive, then that's my focus. If I don't, then I'll do something over here, or maybe I'll, uh, it'd be tricky for, like, groceries because of this day, but I think, I think maybe I'll just go for a drive and warm up the car or whatever. Um, I feel like I did a pretty good essay to cover, like, say, say that, uh, Silverstorm likes the, the essay and she wants to use that as like the conversation impetus. Then what we do is we just, I read out, we talk about it and we'd kind of like go back and forth with it while we're both drawing art. Um, if she does not like it, then it goes over here and we do something else on that day to talk about like, uh, the, the topics we're go covering. Um, that should be good there. So I've done the, this is what I wanted to look at here. So I've done the live writing. So what I like to do is I like to kind of keep at least one instance of it, at least two, so that way if I overlap one, it's not a big deal. So after I'm all, all done with this, I might do a little bit of reading about gender and religion. Uh, I might uh, look at apartment prices as well. Um, and then like kind of wait for the uh, the trip kind of a thing. So that's kind of where I prep for the next next few days. So that way I'm not like, now that I've written, it's not like, oh, screw around. It's like, do the next thing. So research, think about stuff. And, you know, I kind of wait from there. So kind of do one of these. And, uh, yeah, so there's that. Close this one out. I don't need to deal with this one, so I'll close this one out as well. I do put in the notes later on about how long it's taken for this kind of stuff. I'll work on this uh, later because it's like I gotta shuffle this around. So roughly two and a half hours of doing all this, uh, which I thought was pretty good. I thought I, th I thought this is a really good experience for me. I'm really happy that I did all of this. Um, you know, it'll, it'll take more practice, but as far as this as a video production of, of whatever sorts, uh, I think it works out pretty well. I want to do more of these. Um, so I'll take the screenshot for the video that is uh, over here and my folder. I've got the screenshot, got the video recording. Um, so what else do I want to talk about here? Um, I will be doing more videos like this to uh, practice um, I think it was turned out pretty well. I'm not going to do them a whole lot because it is less efficient, but you know, do it for the big stuff, do it, do it until it's easy, then do it all the time. Then do it for fiction. Same thing, make it easy. Then, uh, that way uh, I can just write my fiction. Um, and then that's a way to kind of show people, uh, do, do some kind of like logicking through the sentences and, I think that'll all be, all be fun. So yeah, um, that is it for me. That is it for what I want to talk about today. So I always have to like think of what else I need to do, what else I want to do. Uh, so I guess I can go ahead uh, over here. I have that uh, Google Doc that's uh, slowing down my computer right now because I loaded up for the first time in a while and was like, hey, I want I want all your RAM. 
So we'll paste all that in. Um, I'm fine with that being like this. Uh, we'll put QQ marks for the VOD. See, we got uh, some disparity between how many words there are there, 125. So there's one extra word on the on the uh, ba 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 side, uh, the G G doc side, but that's cool though. Um, I can't close this right now because I need to put the link in. Um, but yeah, then here are all the the archive stuff. So I will conclude with one final thought that. Uh, I guess it's like kind of like the the nice padding conclusion of uh, you know if you want to buy someone a PS5 or whatever if you think that they'll like it cool um, don't just buy it because you want to get something exclusive or fancy um, think about it it's like you have an object right you have something that you want to give to someone maybe it's something that you received as like a duplicate or whatever, you should be able to think that, hey, this is an object that I would want to give to someone that I think will add value to that person's life. If you think that it will, then it's a good gift. If the person disagrees, and that is a disparity between your understanding of that person and that person's understanding of you. Uh, there might be some disagreement you may not know the person very well, or whatever the case may be. Um, but if you do, and it's like, hey, I wanted to get something for you. I think you might like it. Um, that's fine, too. It just, I think it's the idea of, like, going and, like, buying the new thing just because it's new hotness. I don't really like that all that much. So that's how I conclude this. Um let me stop rambling here and let me do the outro. So I've been a zombie paper. You've been listening to this uh, video talking about uh, live writing. Um, the overlay may change, but for right now, that feels good enough. Um, and yeah, I, I had a good good time showing you how I write um, as much as I can, obeying DMCA laws and uh, you know, walking through my, uh, we got a first draft and a second draft out of the deal. Um, thanks for joining me, and uh, until next time, uh, take care and uh, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs> All right, bye.